everyone, Cash here, back with another video from FIFA 15. Today I bring you some more games from our career with Trey Cash We're with QPR. Now, if you saw the last video, we made our debut with QPR very successful, and we're going to continue it here. Our next game in the Premier League slate is against Burnley, as we're on the road here, Turf Moor. And Trey, as if you did see the last video, Charlie Austin, Trey Cash, the ultimate duo here on this QPR team. As Trey looking to get it going here as a shot going to get taken. That one just narrowly misses the net. As we now move on to the 34th minute, Burnley looking for the opportunity here. Barnes can take the shot. It's going to be saved. And this one nearly going to be... Ooh, nearly rolls into the goal there. McCarthy with the save. Now 38th minute. Trey going to play some D here. Forces the mistake. Eventually going to call for it from Charlie Austin. Trey going to be wide open here. Extra defender coming in. So we're going to get it back to Charlie Austin. One touch and the rip from Austin from the top of the box. And that one's going to find the back of the net as Charlie Austin continues his terrific start to the season here. His one goal in the 40th minute will be the difference as we go into the half. We bring it out here into the second half. Burnley with an opportunity here with that shot well over the net as still just a 1-0 game as Burnley making some substitutions and QPR making a substitution there. We're now into the 80th minute and they're going to get the long cross coming in here but that one not going to be any good. Sandro going to get it out to Trey. We have a lot of room here. One man to beat. We'll see if we can outpace him and looks like we will as we take it into the box. Can Trey finish it off? Yes, he can. Trey Cash, as this is ridiculous, Trey and Charlie Austin step in step here for the start of the season. Both now, I believe, with four goals. Trey scoring one in the first game, two in the second. Charlie Austin also had two in the second game. Now they both have a goal here in this one. And that will do it for this game. We win 2-0. Trey and Charlie, the difference yet again. And after the game, good news, we're back with Team USA for games against South Africa and Egypt. Now we'll move on. It's the final day of the transfer window, and in the first hour here, we sell Luis Adriano, who we replaced really in the lineup. And then with six hours left, we get absolutely betrayed. QPR has sold Charlie Austin. I tried to figure out where he went. I cannot figure it out, but why in the heck... Did you sell Charlie Austin? We were absolutely dominating with him. You see Lewandowski for $95 million going to Chelsea, but we absolutely dominated those first three games, but they sell Charlie Austin, so now it is just Trey. They go from having an abundance of strikers to having just three, only one real good one being Trey, and we're leaving at the end of the season. We're going back to Arsenal. This is just a lone season, so I have no idea what QPR was doing. I'm so upset and so glad we did not have to go and play another game with them because I do not want to play for this team anymore as I don't know how we're going to do it as the duo with Trey and Charlie. We performed so well together. We were scoring goals, and now I don't know if we're going to be able to have that successful of a season as I thought with QPR. Kind of, I don't want to be recalled by Arsenal because we still are going to, obviously, if we weren't the guy before, even with Charlie, we are definitely the guy now for QPR as we are the lone person that's going to be able to score goals on that team. But you go into half here with the game against South Africa as we're in South Africa, it looks like. It is a nil-nil game, but here in the 48th minute, Dempsey going to take the shot, but that one's going to be off the mark. I cannot believe they sold Charlie Austin. We were going to be good. We still might be good, but we were definitely going to be good with him. I cannot believe they sold him. Unbelievable. So in this game here, as it's going to take me a little bit to recover from that one. I could not believe when I saw it, when I saw his name on there. Could not believe it. But look at this, Trey, the hustle in this video. If I hadn't already named the video something to the effects of what the heck is QPR doing, I would have named it the hustle or something to do with hustle. It probably wouldn't have been any good either. But Trey does create the turnover, gets the one goal in this one. We win it 1-0. We will not be playing against Egypt here as we advance to this game. And we will simulate this one. We'll see if they can pick up the W without, a, without us. They have Dempsey up front there. And let's see here. As looks like there are a lot of replacement players in this lineup. I see Bradley. I see Dempsey. But beyond that, Gonzalez. But it looks like nothing really happened here. And uh, we, uh, yep, all right. So we tie against Egypt, 1-1, whatever. And we are now returned here to QPR still feeling a little bit betrayed. We have lost our strike partner in Charlie Austin. We now have Grego Cox. 
No idea who that is. I do not think he's very good, but at least now we know Trey is the man. We have got to score goals and score them in bunches here to keep QPR competitive and get them up that Premier League table. We have an absolute challenge on our hands, but maybe that's exactly what we needed because if we want to improve Trey, get him up from that 79 overall, we're going to have to score goals. We're going to have to do a lot for this team. So we'll see what we can do in the next video. You'll see some more games with Trey in QPR. We'll see how that goes. But otherwise, that's going to be for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.